Hello super users, so earlier this week the Jetstream Finale controller was released. As you can see, it's something that you can control Finale with from your iPhone or even with a stream deck. If you would like to get it, just go to jetstreamfinale.com and then simply just enter in your email which version you'd like and we'd send it to you right away. But anyways, if you've never heard about this, you might be wondering what it is. You can control Finale with either your phone or a dedicated stream deck. But if you want to know even more about it than what I'm just going to show you, there are a ton of resources in the description below. So cool, one of the first really cool things is Dynamics. Now we've actually improved this a lot since the last demo, where now you can quickly and easily add Dynamics at the beginning of the range. You can quickly and easily add Dynamics at the end of a range. Actually, let's make that a double forte. And then you can actually add crescendos in the middle of it, and you see that it automatically spaces everything out correctly so that way there's no collisions. But it actually does something even cooler. So let's say, you know, like we have this vertically all misaligned. Actually, let's just go like this. Everything's vertically misaligned. And now if I were to add a crescendo, it automatically aligns all these dynamics together. Of course, it's built in quite easily. So you can quickly and easily move align dynamics up and down. By default, it has really good placement for vertical dynamics like this. And you just add a hairpin and it automatically knows once you start and stop and make sure everything is vertically aligned within the selection. It's really, really, really cool. Another really, really cool thing which will save you a lot of time is it adds slurs pretty much everywhere. So you just highlight a selection and add a slur. And you want to add slurs on all of these, you can add it with just the press of a button. But there have been a couple more changes since probably the last updates you've seen. A lot of these have to do, some of these have to do with the technique text and expression text. So let's just dive in here real quickly. You can see that I can quickly add technique text, such as like Divisi over here, or even like after this measure, I can quickly add a Caesura as an expression. That's really cool, but there's actually an even cooler thing because you'll notice that, you know, oftentimes you have a bunch of technique text or expressive text already predefined for you. Now the Justin Finale controller is actually quite smart. I can come over here and just type in technique text and now I can type in whatever technique text I want. So perhaps I want to say like brassy like that and it automatically inserts it. And if it's not already in here, it'll automatically create it at the very end. So you really don't have to worry about duplicating anything. For instance, let's type in solo real quickly. Let's say I type in a solo like that. It will also automatically already use the expressions I already have defined. Really, really cool. And it works for technique text as well as expressive text. And there's, like I said, a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff built in here. I can't possibly cover it all right now. But if you want to know even more, I have a full 15 minute video linked in the description below, as well as a link to the website so you can see that, a link to the Facebook page if you want to see how other people are getting along with it, a link to the JetStream Finale Controller YouTube channel, as well as several other links that are really going to help you learn a whole lot more about it. So that's it for today. That's an overview of the Jetstream Finale controller. Like I said, it's available now and it can really, really make your life a whole lot easier. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.